Welcome to a game called Bear and Breakfast. It's like owning a little bed and breakfast, but as bears. And as soon as I saw this in my Steam queue, I was like, I need this game. Um, so I waited until I had the money for it. But here we are. And I think there's going to be a new uh, series on my channel if all goes well. And let's just get into it. Why can't I ever fall asleep on time? I'm gonna be so tired tomorrow. Mom's gonna kill me. <laughs> God. Hank's hands got very cold all of a sudden. His forehead felt heavy with a crushing pressure. A dark figure with glowing eyes stared from far away. Weathered stones and dry wood surrounded it. Suddenly, a blinding jolt of lightning illuminated the sky. Thunder cracked. A shriek pierced through the air. There was no one there. Everything felt dark and silent again, except for the rain. Forget I said anything. Sleep is overrated. Oh, okay. Um, I didn't... Hello? I, uh, I can't move. I cannot. Do not. Don't what? See? Because that's already happening. Mm -hmm. Move. So don't move. Okay. Can't do that either. Oh. But you don't want me to move? Why would you tell me how to move if you don't want me to move? Well, that's convenient. Oh, I've auto-saved. Find. 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 Mean like an introspection thing? I hear something from the left. Would be to the. Uh, I think I hit a wall. I don't. Mm, find bed. Okay. This was not in the steam. Step. Sleep. Yeah, sure. I'll just take a nap in the death bed. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Go ahead. E to interact. Okay. Got it. Got it. Cool. Don't. You're not great at making up your making your mind up. Mm-hmm. Don't wake up. That's it. No more dumplings before bed. Same. <laughs> Alright. For the third time, Hank. Uh-oh, I better see what's up. Let, let go. Okay, cool. Sleep is overrated. Turn off the lamp. Alright. Um. <coughs> I go this way? Mm, I can't leave yet. So I'm just gonna move around here somewhere. Oh, door, door. There she is. Mama bear. I'm up. I'm up. Well, aren't you a bag of bones? Good to see hibernation hasn't kicked in yet. You can't call it that every time I get a little extra sleep. Besides. Besides what? I had a hard time sleeping. Too many thoughts. Well, that runs in the family. You'll have to try and think less. Gee, thanks, Mom. No, I'm... Where's Annie? Oh, in her room with Will, probably. I should go wake him up. Alright, honey. Okay. Basics, walk around the world, adventure mode. Okay. What is her... Is her room also in the kitchen? Alright. Interesting. Good. Get out. <laughs> okay, great. Morning. <laughs> out. <laughs> it's not very good morning of you. There's nothing good about being up this early. <laughs> hmm, I don't smell any reason to be up yet. What do you mean? I could smell him a mile away. Delightful, both of you. <laughs> What's on the doctorate today, boss? 
digging a new hole next to the other holes. Actually, Mom said she might let us cross the creek today and check under the bushes for mushrooms. What'd I tell you? I live for the hunt. <laughs> How come we never get to do fun stuff anymore? Like a good old visit to the dumpster. We're not allowed past the fence anymore. Besides, there hasn't been any new garbage in months. Well, we won't find any garbage or shroomies in here. Let's go. Oh, eh, already. You're on his side now? It's morning. We're up. Let's go do stuff. They warn me betrayal never comes from your enemies. Mm hmm. Nice. Oh, this is so adorable. Get cracking. Completed. Hank, kids, over here. Get your digging claws ready. Come. <laughs> okay. Let's go. You can walk around, interact with things, and pick things up in your inventory. What is that? Hey, Mom. Morning, kids. Morning, Mrs. M. Ma'am. Did you sleep all right? As good as ever. Good enough. Whatever that means. Good. Today is a very special day. I need you to go on the hunt. Already point me to the hole to black moss. What? What? I know I said no go past no going past the fence, but you've all been so good and I need your help. <laughs> the bush around the tombstone is getting a little thick and the flowers aren't in bloom anymore. So I'll need you to find me a bundle of alligator weed. Can't believe we get to leave this stinking place. Hmm. I mean, uh, adventure, adventure! Anyway, Hank, you're in charge of this operation. Here's what I'm looking for. In fact, take the whole notebook so you don't forget. Nice. But don't lose it again. I won't. He will. <laughs> Alright, you three, remember you'll, you're getting that bundle straight. You're getting that bundle and straight back. Not one step further than the swamp. Yes, ma. Alright, so I got a collectible. I don't know, something about a statue looks a little, like, strange to me. Can't read what it says. Here we go. Past the fence, I assume. Collectibles. Collectibles are special items you unlock for your character that give you various perks. Collectibles you can find your current unlock. Collectibles in the character screen. Now access the quest log from the menu bar. Uh, show your current quests. Allow you to attract them and find objects using the arrow indicator. Orange is available. Blue in progress. And green is ready. Okay. Go to Black Moss to the thicket. To Black Moss. Yep. This way. Three friends found themselves farther than they'd ever gone before. Past the soothing meadow meadows and the quiet streams of the thicket. Margaret wouldn't know, but there was not exactly but this was not exactly their first adventure. Annie, the car Caroline, Caroline dog, brave but clumsy. Will, the poor Will, grumpy on the outside, but surprisingly, even more so on the inside. And Hank, the brown bear, cheerful and cur curious, like me, but maybe a little concerned about the promise he made back home. No, mom, I don't. I'm definitely not going to wander too far in an adventurous fashion. I promise. Uh, maybe, maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Alright, gang. Sp spread out. <laughs> Alright. I'm excited. Can you find alligator weed? Oh, is that it? Uh, okay. 
What in the what was that? I heard it too. We'd better go. <laughs> but we haven't found the thing for your mom yet. I'm with Hank. Let's see where that sound came from. That's not what I meant. We're going back. You know what? I bet it's a brand new garbage truck. Don't care. Mom said straight back. Let's go. <laughs> Kesha said to get some gator weed. We haven't found any yet. Maybe there's some in the truck. No, come back. Okay, so they just sprinted away from me, I guess. I could just leave them here to die. To timber crossing. This looks like where people live. Little rebel. Okay. Don't think I had a choice. Investigate the loud noises. Wood? Oh, nice. I'm taking all of that wood. Hmm. Don't I have... Wouldn't that make that? I need pine. I guess I have plywood. Alright. Outhouse. This needs plywood. So this is probably when I get the thing at some point. Bench. What's missing is a picnic basket. I'm sure I'll have more time to explore this area. Uh, e? Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Grab opportunity by the throat and show it who's boss. Uh, this strange shark has a shiny, bouncy exterior and wore cool sunglasses. Mm -hmm. A little gray speaker box was strapped to its neck. Wording out nonsense, it reminded Hank of Will's TV. Next to it, a little car had a big advert for something called Pond Voyage. Nothing weird about it at all. Uh, uh, okay. Hello. Be part of the next ex exciting experience, enticing escape. Electrifying <laughs> enterprise. Is someone in there? <laughs> you there, fine gentleman in the uh, orange coat. I am pretty gentle. How would you like to own the next minor share in the next major maneuver. Well, I'm not into anything major, but I do like sharing. And I must reiterate, the share is very minor. What do we get to share again? A very, very minor. How exactly are you talking? Pond Voyage is a multinational, multi-layered, multi-your-friend corporation. What? <laughs> Offering secure, touristy, adjacent goods and service in exchange for valuable personal collateral. You lost me. Don't think he ever had me to begin with. Just bring in your old, useless, priceless family jewelry or expensive heirloom of choice and we'll give you a one to three day all-inclusive voucher for the vacation of a lifetime. Sorry, buddy, I don't have anything expensive or a heirloom. Pawn Voyage is also on the lookout for brand new ventures and locations. <laughs> Why does he keep saying it like that? For its millions of customers all around the valley. We will take any location or premise. No matter how run down or decrepit. To offer our very human patrons the holiday they deserve. Wait, for humans to live here? I don't think anyone wants to live here. They're just tourists. I've seen this before. The humans wander around where Shark Boy tells them. And then they stare at the trees and try to forget whatever they're running from. I read it in a magazine, Humans Are Whack. If you or a friend of a friend would like to offer your home or house to become a pond voyage premium, premises for restoring repairing redecorating and bringing it up to a minimum standard which frankly no one enforces and drastically barely alter your monthly income
simply press the green button under my gullet and a representative will get in touch. Hmm. I'm gonna be honest. I have no idea what he just said. If I heard that the sh if I heard that shark right, I'm pretty sure he wants to give us money. Human grade, primo quality, shiny money. <laughs> All I heard was that humans are coming back. Well, the money has to get here somehow. Humans? I've barely seen one in months. And that's more than enough. Hello, don't you see what this means? With your oddly alarming strengths, my foolproof understanding of all things, and spoil sports cheerful attitude, I am cheerful. I just don't care for them, that's all. We stand to make a boatload of cash. I'm gonna be honest. I have no idea what you just said. Human back money. <laughs> Give food. Give good. I'm gonna be honest. It's anything other than good. Look. Just go tell the shark we're in. I feel like he's got dollars on his eyes. We'll just use any broke down shed. They're all abandoned anyway. Okay. Sounds good to me. Nothing to lose. Nothing to gain. Grab opportunity by the throat and show who's boss. Press green button. Hello again. Congratulations. You've been automatically entered in the standard legal... Legally binding agreement by using your fingerprint identification data from the local police department. Welcome to the family error unknown pattern. Name suits you. You are now contractually obligated to provide your premium property details within the next three business days. Simply press the green button under my gullet when the premises are ready to accept our first guest. All right, who knows anything about human houses? Well, I used to look at the pictures of the houses in the magazines we found. Could the humans maybe just live under a bus? No, I don't think that cuts it. They're fragile and get scared easily. Sounds familiar. I think I know a thing or two about making a place cozy, and I do not get scared that easily. Yeah, but I think we'll need help too. We should go find Tony. I really don't think we should bother him. He won't mind besides he... I think he'll enjoy the company. I don't even know where he is these days. I doubt he even he ever left sawdust. Go see if you can sniff him out and tell him we need his master woodwork skills. That'll get him going. Right. Visibility. In the adventure mode menu, you have two additional options. If you're not a fan of the dark, after midnight you can sleep until the following morning. This also advances time visibility and if you like to see inside of most buildings you can lower the roofs roof and walls okay so this is the the place i'm probably gonna turn into stuff i need many things for this okay Like I'm just cleaning. Collected like ten valuables. Wow. Take, take all. I'm just gonna clean up first. I am a man. Take all. Take all. Okay. Looks pretty, pretty clean in here now. Also go right there, maybe. Yeah, I'm just picking up the trash, but looks good to me. Hold on to this. That just respawn every day or something. Oh, I can make it there. Yes, you can now. Can now be used to build furniture. Uh, to build rooms and craft furniture. Cool. Did that a little early, but that's fine. I like to do things. I need to go this way. Sawdust. Find Tony the Beaver in Sawdust. I have none. That's the biggest crack I've ever seen. <laughs> Of course. All this wood. Just 
in a pile of wood. Ooh, look at that one. Massive piles of wood. Wonder where a tree this big could fit. Maybe here. Oh nice things. Is this where he is? Lady? Lady? <laughs> Being afraid of heights just means you haven't seen everything that's down there yet. Uh, okay. I feel like I wasn't supposed to meet you yet. Oh, now the arrow's pointing me. I feel like it wasn't before. Alright. By God! A bear! It's just me, sir. Hank from the thicket. Oh goodness, you could talk? He must have memory. I'm just yanking your tail, boy. How's your mother? She's great. Listen, I want to ask if you could help us. We gotta help? Why didn't you say so? What do you need? A stack of birch? Well, actually, my friends and I were wondering... An oak spoon? Oh, I think Margaret would love that. Has anyone taught you how to saw yet? No, there's the shark in timber crossing. Oh, a redwood plaque for your fish? He says he's bringing humans to the valley. Oh... Well, we haven't seen those in a while, have we? What could I possibly have to do with that? How much do you know about building things? For humans, I mean. Well, as you, of course, know, everything people make is perfect. When I took over the mill here, I found all these papers and schematics. It felt like stumbling upon artifacts. Never thought wood could take so many shapes. Look here. Elaborate contours, knotty frames, perfect angles. Clearly, only an incredible being could come up with all, the, all this. <clears throat> can you make all that? Oh, anyone can. It's quite simple once you figure out how to read these things. Would you, would you like me to teach you? Yes. Well, I was hoping you could help us fix up this old shack in Timbers Crossing. Oh, how wonderful. We'll need my back saw and mallet. A ladder, oh, and a couple of stacks of pine. Fetch those for me, will you? The bright yellow ones. They're all yellow. Mm hmm Okay. Materials you can interact with materials. Well, with their contents. I've been pretty much doing that. I already have the wood, but I will get more wood. Cause no one's stopping. that it? Oh, I'm already... I could have just turned it right around. Ooh, let's grab... That looks handy. Alright, I'm back, sir. So, did you find all the wood? Yep, got it right here. Grand, perfect. You're doing such a great job. Uh, thanks. I just picked it up off the ground. Amazing. Now I'm heading to Timbers Crossing. I'll see you there. Can I loot your home real quick, sir? Nice. I did need that. Don't know if I needed to steal it, but I did that. Why not simply punch the trees? That is wonderful. We're gonna use this old ship. Haven't seen a human claim it in years. Oh yes, this will do nicely. Look who decided to finally show up. As I was telling your friends here, the wood you 
brought ought to be enough. I'll get started on this. First, you'll have to clean up the shed of all its garbage. I think I can do that. I already did that because I am insane. Did you clean up the shed? Yep. Great. Now we'll just have to use this old workbench. The what? Well, you can't hammer a nail in thin air. You need some place to make it work. Table next to the tree, Hank. Grab some wood and put it back together while I tidy up the place. I um, also did that. Did you get the- Yep. <coughs> like brand, brand spanking new. It's good. Enough. Uh, thanks. Excuse me. Alright. You do your thing and I'll be here. Baby's first building. Aw. Excuse me. You have plenty of time to get better. Now, humans got over the cold stone floors and itchy hay a while ago. They would much rather sleep on clean, soft, springy surface. Here, there's none of those things, but it'll do. Oh. Palm Uh, you unlock the new crafting recipe, shabby pallet bed. Go make one of the workbench. Okay. One of my buildings. I'm crafting one of these. Okay. Uh, how do I? I guess I just put it somewhere. Cannot be placed in. Oh wait. Okay. Crafting items. Mm hmm. Did that. I crafted it. Guess that's all I had to do. Were you able to make that bed? Yep. I didn't think it could look worse than the schematics, but here we are. Oh, I mean, excellent. You're doing so well. Better than mine back home. That's just sad. We'll hurry along and put it to good use. Make a bedroom and we'll put the bed in it. Use the workbench to build a room. Comfort room? Bedroom. Uh, minimum size. Is that two by three? Two by three? Selection outside. Oh. Uh, I guess that's fine. Um, need a door. Oh, um, don't know what I'm doing. Hold on. Let me put the bed in there. Okay. Place a door? I don't know how to make a door yet. Add a door. And then we go back to them. So were you able to make that bedroom? Yep. Stains and all. Oh yeah, I almost prefer it to the dead tree I used to sleep in. You encourage weird. Alright, now this is the most important step. Humans always need to feed their false sense of superiority by having someone around that they can look down on. You sure seem to know a lot about that. So we're gonna need to make them feel welcome by putting a little table in the front house that tells them where to go. And a little black book to keep the record for the shark. Ah uh, yes, here's how you make it quite straightforward. Front desk re recipe. I mean, just put it down in the shed and then it's time to rake in the dough. Nice, we're already going. Quick. Uh, craft front desk build. Okay, and then we're gonna go here and we're gonna put it like there. Okay. Yes. That looks good. If I didn't know any better, I'd say that you're a natural, Hank. Such a fast learner. 
not that great. It took me forever and there's barely anything in there. Are you even gonna like it? Are they even gonna like it? That's me. <laughs> you sure know how to take a compliment. Oh, uh, sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> Go talk to Sharky, Sharky boy and tell him we got this joint ready. Okay. 